more right, there is an alternative. You may not change your garment of righteousness, but you can simply add some little, little things to your appearance to make you acceptable. Eh? Like what? I don't mind adding anything to my garment of righteousness. What have you brought for me to add to it? Yes, bride of the Lord. I have in this box a lot of beautiful, worthy gifts and materials that will surely make you to appeal to the people of the world and acceptable to them. Really? Let me see them. Let me see what you have for me. Yes, the materials here will surely make you more beautiful and acceptable to the worldly men and women. Now, first of all, those pair of white shiny shoes given to you by your Lord for the preparation of the gospel of peace is never acceptable in the world of maximum enjoyment. So instead of going out with the gospel of peace or evangelism, you proudly go out with big men and fine young men to night parties and cinemas with your, in your new pair of black shoes. After all, it is just a little addition of worldly excitement to your new life. It won't spoil your Christian life at all. Eh? Yes. Again, this golden crown on your head called the helmet of salvation is absolutely useless in the world. You don't need it at all. Inside this box is a beautiful green heart called the element of damnation. Everyone who loves the pleasures of the world put this on. Of what use is the element of damnation? Ah, with the element of damnation, you are possessed with the wisdom of this world. You need the element of this world for the wisdom of the world. Now, the golden girdle round your waist must go too. You must replace it with another one suitable for living in the world of maximum enjoyment. My Lord, my husband, said it is the girdle of truth. I should guard myself with truth always until he comes back to take me home. But you don't need this in the world. There is no truth in the world. There is a beautiful girdle in this book called the girdle of deceitfulness. Whosoever is faithful and truthful in the world can hardly succeed. Deceitfulness reigns in the world of sin. And is that all? Ha! Ah, there are a lot more in this treasure box. Expensive makeup kit to make your face look modern and attractive. And elegant styles of hair fashions to make you exceedingly acceptable before the worldly men. Bride of the Lord, I have brought all these fashionable materials for you. Do you like them? Beautiful! They are all beautiful. They are all beautiful. <laughs> Take.
word of the Lord. Begin to add these things now to your garment of righteousness immediately. Then you'll be able to mix freely with the people of the world and be readily acceptable even before worldly men and women. garments of righteousness and lead you back into the slave market of sins. Bride of the Lord, the coming of the Lord, your bridegroom, is now so close. Why should you disappoint him when he comes and meet you unprepared? Don't take these materials from the slave master. Don't take this material and add them to your glorious new life. They are not for you. Please don't take them from the slave master. And remember, that the Lord, the bridegroom who bought you from the slave market of sins at a very costly price, will not like to see all these things on you. He will not like to see all this sinful en en enjoyment of the world upon your new life. Your Lord, the bridegroom, will not shut up and stop taking my life. Bride of the Lord, don't you have wisdom to disguise for your life? The citizens of this world never allow any strange Holy Spirit to control their lives. They handle their own lives with their own wisdom. Bride of the Lord, don't listen to me. Comforter, bride of the Lord, listen. Henceforth, stop talking into my heart. But the Lord, your husband, would not like to see your new life stay with the sins of the world. It's coming for a bride without stain or wrinkle or blemish. The Lord, my husband, has delayed his coming. And I'm tired of this boring new life. I have to go into the world to experience the fun and excitement that are, that are going on there. I am bored of this new life. I have to take a break into the world to have worldly fashion and pleasure. Ha! Bride of the Lord! Shut up and leave me alone! Ha 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 I read from 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused to you to one offspring, that I may present you as a just virgin to Christ. And that one husband is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ has bought us for himself. But you now see, daughter, how the devil stop busy deceiving the children of God? Do you see how he's busy luring many believers back into the world of sin? So that the Lord may return suddenly and meet many of them unprepared. Many believers for whom glorious heavenly mansions are prepared are now taking a break into the world to have a taste of body pleasure and passions, forgetting that the coming of the Lord shall be like a thief in the night. Could this then be the church? Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming to rapture into glory. No. No. But this present church is a hallowed church. A spiritual prostitute. 